The Tulane Green Wave baseball team represents Tulane University in NCAA Division I college baseball. The Green Wave baseball team competes in the American Athletic Conference and play their home games on campus at Greer Field at Turchin Stadium. They are managed by head coach Travis Jewett, who took over the program in 2016 coming from Vanderbilt University where he was named one of the top assistants ready to lead in college baseball by multiple publications. In 2016, USA Today named Tulane University one of the top 10 best college baseball programs in the country, one of the most prestigious universities in the United States ranked 39th in U.S. News and World Report Best Colleges 2017 is also home to one of the country's oldest baseball programs as it has enjoyed over 100 years of illustrious baseball history. Tulane University, located in the heart of the uptown area of New Orleans, Louisiana on the historic St. Charles Avenue, first fielded a baseball team in 1893, 50 years after the school opened its doors for the first time. The program got off to a great start, and it hasn't looked back since. Over time, the program has seen a multitude of transitions, but one constant has remained, winning. Tulane has captured 15 conference championships in three different leagues. On top of that, Tulane has been a regular in the National Collegiate Athletic Association postseason, having made 21 NCAA regional appearances as well as three Super Regionals and two trips to the College World Series. The program has also produced a slew of draft picks and major leaguers, as 27 former Green Wave players have seen time in the big leagues. Additionally, many former players have gone on to successful careers in a variety of fields. With some of the finest facilities in the country and the support and resources of Tulane University and the city of New Orleans, Tulane baseball is considered one of the top ten baseball programs in the NCAA both athletically and academically. Topic. By the numbers 103 MLB draft picks 028 All-Americans 022 Freshman All-Americans 009 Academic All-Americans 027 MLB players 015 Conference Championships 009 First Round Draft Picks 021 NCAA Regional Appearances 003 NCAA Super Regional Appearances 002 College World Series Appearances Topic History The last few years have seen Tulane's college baseball team consistently ranked among the best in the nation. The NCAA named it the 17th winningest team of the 2000s in terms of winning percentage and 16th by overall wins. Topic: The College World Series. In 2001 the team's 55 wins set a school record and led the nation. The team made it to the College World Series in Omaha, only to blow an 8–0 lead against Stanford University and lose the game 13–11. The Green Wave won its next game against Nebraska 6–5 but was eliminated in the third game by Cal State Fullerton. In 2005 the Green Wave tied its 2001 record for wins. Tulane started the season ranked first in the nation and held the top spot throughout most of the regular season. 
The Green Wave entered the postseason ranked number one and beat Rice to win its Super Regional. Tulane advanced to the College World Series for the second time in school history. The Green Wave defeated Oregon State 3-2-1 in its first game but fell 5-0 to Texas, the eventual national champion. In an elimination game against Baylor, the Green Wave led 7-0 in the seventh inning before the Bears scored eight runs in the final three innings to win the game. Brian Bogoshevich won Louisiana Pitcher of the Year, was named to four All-American teams including Louisville Slugger's first team, and was a semi-finalist for three national awards. He was taken in the first round of the 2005 draft by the Houston Astros. Pitcher and first baseman Micah Owings was named Conference USA and Louisiana Player of the Year. He was drafted in the third round by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Third baseman Brad Emaeus was named Conference USA and Louisiana Freshman of the Year. Head coach Rick Jones was named Louisiana Coach of the Year. Topic. Hurricane Katrina In 2006, the Tulane baseball team returned to New Orleans after spending the fall semester at Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas, due to the effects of Hurricane Katrina. With the renovation of Turchin Stadium delayed, the Green Wave were forced to play home games at nearby Zephyr Field for two seasons. Despite the distractions and disruptions of their day-to-day -day lives, the Green Wave finished the regular season 39–17, in third place in CUSA with a 15–9 conference record. Tulane lost to Ole Miss in the NCAA Regionals to end the season. The university's renewal plan called for the suspension of some of its sports, and Tulane Athletics did not return to a full 16 teams until the 2011–12 school year. Recent history Prior to the 2007 season the Green Wave was recognized by Baseball America as one of the top college baseball programs in the country since the NCAA expanded its tournament from 48 to 64 teams. The ratings were formulated by evaluating a program's national impact, overall competitiveness, fans and facilities, and academics. The Wave received an a rating, one of only 16 teams so designated, the 2007 season saw the long-term effects of Hurricane Katrina finally wear on the team. With construction underway on the new Turchin Stadium, the Wave played a second straight season at Zephyr Field. A solid 28–11 start to the season including a sweep of in-state rival LSU was followed by a 6–15 limp to the finish line. The Green Wave failed to garner an NCAA bid for the first time since 1997. Due to health concerns in his 21st season as head coach, Rick Jones stepped down temporarily, handing over control of the 2014 team to recruiting coordinator and hitting coach Jake Gautreaux. He was replaced by David Pierce. In his first year at Tulane, David Pierce brought the Green Wave back to postseason play for the first time since 2008. In 2016, he improved on that and brought Tulane a conference championship. On June 29, 2016, Pierce left the Green Wave baseball team for the University of Texas at Austin Longhorns team. Topic: <laughs> Stadium The Green Wave have played its home games at Greer Field at Turchin Stadium since 1991. 
The team has a .750 winning percentage in games played there and consistently ranks highly among Division I baseball programs in average attendance figures. In 2008 the Green Wave returned to a brand new Greer Field at Turchin Stadium, nearly rebuilt at the site of the old stadium after damage from Katrina forced a much larger construction project. The new stadium expanded seating to 5,000, including four luxury box suites and a partially covered seating area with 2,700 chairback seats. Topic. Logo and uniforms Tulane baseball is widely regarded year in and year out as having one of the best logos and uniforms in college baseball. Throughout the years, multiple publications and fans have voted the Green Wave jerseys as having the number one logo and uniform in college baseball, and as recently as 2016 the NCAA named it one of the top nine in the country, known for their classic appearance, Tulane's Birds on the Bat. Logo pays homage to the National League's fan favorite St. Louis Cardinals, which make them one of a kind in college baseball. Tulane has worn multiple color combinations throughout the years that include the following, olive green, sky blue, cream, white, gray, black, and Padre-style camo jerseys, all donning the famous Tulane, Birds on the Bat, logo. The baseball cap insignia features either the T-wave symbol or the slugger bird. Topic: <laughs> Year-by-year results. Topic: <laughs> Tulane in the NCAA tournament. The NCAA Division I Baseball Tournament started in 1947. The format of the tournament has changed through the years. <laughs> <laughs> National Award winners Conference Award winners Topic. Collegiate national team members Over the last two decades, the Green Wave have been well represented on the nation's most elite team, USA Baseball's collegiate national team. There have been nine players, coaches to don the red, white and blue uniform on eight separate occasions since Ivan Sveig became the first to represent Tulane as a member of Team USA in 1991. Asterisk asterisk indicates selected to team but did not participate due to injury. Topic. Greenies in MLB Tulane players in MLB, all time equals 27. Most career home runs equals 52 Eddie Morgan. Most career strikeouts equals 510 Scott Williamson. Highest draft pick to reach MLB equals Michael Aubrey 11th overall pick, 2003. Lowest draft pick to reach MLB equals Kevin M. Mahat 805th pick, 1987. Free agents to reach MLB equals 5. Most Tulane MLB players in one season equals 6, 2013. Longest stretch of Tulane in MLB equals 1978 present notable drafted high school commits in MLB. Giancarlo Stanton 2007 class. 
J. Bruce 2005 Class Front Office in MLB Andrew Friedman, MLB General Manager Topic. Retired numbers The Tulane baseball program has retired three numbers in the school's history. One player, a player, coach and a coaching legend each have their names and numbers immortalized inside Greer Field at Turchin Stadium. A trio of New Orleans natives are all enshrined in the Tulane Athletics Hall of Fame, with head coach Joe Brockhoff, East Jefferson High School, Carrie D. Livingston, West Jefferson High School, and Milt Rediv, Jesuit High School, all have their numbers hung on the facade inside the Green Wave's home stadium. Topic. Other prominent former players Andrew Friedman GM of the Tampa Bay Rays 2004–2014 2008 MLB Executive of the Year President of Baseball Operations, Los Angeles Dodgers 2014 Present Bobby Brown 4X World Series Champion Cardiologist Texas Rangers Executive Vice President President of the MLB American League AL, 1984-1994 Presented World Series Trophy in 1992 and 1993 Last living member of 1947 New York Yankees World Series team Scott Sidwell Athletic Director of the University of San Francisco Topic. See also List of NCAA Division I baseball programs Tulane Green Wave